Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome to another late tournament video. Uh, it is not part of the actual tournament, but it is one of those videos where somebody sent in their design, didn't get picked, uh, paid me a little bit to support me on Patreon and as does the channel, and thank you for that, brat. Um, and then going to get your own video. So, um, today we have a new US Battlecruiser, the Skinwalker class. Against the Chinese Wang, he picked that, so let's see how badly or well he can beat the Wang. Now, the US Skinwalker class. Um, she's tiny. <laughs> 28,000 tons. That's a small ship. Interestingly, not using nearly as much of her budget as she could have. I mean, when I'm seeing a low budget, I'm instantly going, okay, you need to adjunge the crew, but the crew's 100%. It's veterans, it's spacious quarters. It's just a small ship. Turbo electric engines. Interesting choice. Okay. Um, hydraulic steering. Modern armor. High barbette anti-flash. Yeah, you're looking at three tons below displacement, so you cannot add a double hull, bottom or triple hull. Auto loaders as expected. Sonar three, coincidence range finding. Generation three radar. Oh, that's a lot of four belt. Damn, 12 inches of four belt and 13 inch main belt. Superstructure could be a little bit of a problem. Okay. And you're sporting 14 inch guns, but only three of them? Interesting. It's like a pocket battle cruiser with a reload of 40 seconds. These things fire capped ballistic, capped ballistic HE. So far less chance of this actually turning into one of those HE slugging matches where things burn down in a hurry. Um, even the secondaries are not that likely to deal any severe kind of HE damage. I mean, yeah, they'll deal HE damage, but it won't likely set the ship on fire as much. Super heavy shells, capped ballistics, capped AP shells, so we're, yeah, about middle of the pack. I was giving these guns a 20,000 meter range, 28 inches of belt pen, or sorry, yeah, armor belt pen. 17 inches of deck. Uh, with a muzzle velocity of about 950 meters per second, I don't think we're going to see deck hits. Okay. Well, there's not a whole lot to talk about with this ship. Because there's not a whole lot of ship there. Flash fire chance? Ooh, 12%. <sighs> okay. Uh, that's going to be very interesting, seeing how that flash fire chance is or is not going to cause loss of a turret. All right, let's do it. Let's see how the battle's gonna go. So here we are. Ohio, Hawaii, and Skinwalker. Oh, well, they start out with good accuracy. 24 to 28. Just like Ohio is rush, rushing ahead. They're fast. That's something I didn't even cover, they're fast. Could give them an advantage in trying not to get hit. Now, the Chinese Wang, with their 14-inch guns, sorry, 15.9-inch guns, these things pack a lot of firepower. They can hit you really hard, if they hit. Um, what's that speed advantage? Yeah, look at that. Target fast speed. Minus 77%. So, the Ohio, the Skinwalker, and the Hawaii moving this fast does make them far more difficult to hit. I think over the tournament, the fastest ship we've seen was about 35 knots. So seeing something do 36 and change, it's a nice change of pace. There was one that was sent in that did 39 knots, I think. Ridiculously quick. All tournament ships, by the way, if you're interested, you can find them linked down below. Um, however, they are for 1.3.9.9, so they're not that likely to work under the, let's say, current version of the game. Which is likely 1.4.0 point change at this point. So far, the guys are just, well, kind of probing what the range is going to be. Ricochet. 
damage the main tower with a fire above the turret by some miracle. What's the chances of these Chinese ships panning the American? Yeah. Pretty good. At this range, you're likely to start taking deck pens, which, well, I mean, it can't really be helped. Six inch four deck, eight inch main deck, it's just not going to save you. What I'm really interested in is the design philosophy with the 12 inch main belt. It's almost like the ship's designed to go bow in, but the AI doesn't do that. So it's not like you're going to be able to do that. Ooh, juicy hit there. 1,000 points of damage. No, sorry, that was the 15.9 hitting the Americans. The Skinwalker took a hit. And we're very, very close. 1800 versus 1700. We're very, very, very close. I'm very curious to see if the Americans are going to be able to win this. Because they don't have the firepower. Their guns are smaller. They're 14 inches versus these 15.9s. And they got fewer of them. But they're a full veteran 100% crew. Is the... Yeah, target fast maneuver is still... Or target fast speed is about 68%. Ricochet. Fighting at 17 kilometer range. The secondaries did have a pretty good range, but we're not quite there yet. Damage to one of the main guns on the Wang. Ship's flooding. If only a bit. Slight pen. Nothing too serious there, just a little bit of structural integrity loss. The Americans are still sailing under the line of rest formation, which is interesting. The game sometimes randomly picks this. I didn't set this. And I think it's not really either helping or hurting the American formation. So we'll just keep that as is. These guns fire every 40 seconds. I feel like they're struggling to pen. Most gels just ricochet off the Chinese ships. Some get through. But there. It's partial pens or it's an overpen. Oh, that was a full pen on Skinwalker. 1900 damage. Could be a problem. This low displacement that these ships have, that could be a problem. Oh, Hawaii's pitching in with their secondaries now. It is high explosive. I mean, AP won't do anything. So, there is the potential to set fires, although I kind of doubt it. 4.8 versus 3.6 by the Chinese. Blocked, blocked, blocked. Yeah, the HE doesn't do a whole lot. It does set some fires, though. Looks like Wang is falling back. That salvo is likely to ricochet off something as angled as this. If it hits at all. Range? 13 kilometers. I think the closer the Americans get, the more dangerous they become. But that does work two ways. The Chinese have already shown that the Americans can definitely take a beating. Skinwalker being the example. This thing really took a lot of damage. It was through the main deck. Main deck. Main deck. Oh boy. And through the main belt as well. That was the question. Can they do the main belt? And they can. The Hawaii does look very nice with all those secondaries going off. Working hard. Or hardly working. What's the damage? 30 points of damage. Hardly working. 
But it's not really the damage that these five inches are supposed to do. It's the thing of the, the HE damage. Fire setting. And potentially knocking out some crews, but I kind of doubt that. 5k damage done by the Americans. 7k done by the Chinese. And Skinwalker is... Ooh, boy. 3k. That's bad news. That's a lot of flooding on the American Skinwalker there. That is a lot of damage. They're still focusing their secondaries on the closest target. Primaries seem to be focused on the damaged Wang. But it's not taking enough damage. The Americans are not taking it down fast enough. And I think we're going to see DPS snowball with the uh, Skinwalker going down. Range from Hawaii is only 10 kilometers to the closest Chinese ship. Still haven't fully identified it yet. Oh, Ohio is switching targets. The closest Chinese ship ignoring the badly damaged cruiser. So a lot of incoming fire on the Chinese ship, but it barely does any damage with those 5 inches. You're going to have to rely on the 14s to really deal the damage. Oh boy. <clears throat> Destroyed the main gun. And the second one also took a load of damage on Hawaii. They're lucky they're not flash firing yet. Because that would have ended this battle a whole lot faster. And his ship is looking pretty crispy, but not at risk of burning down yet. I'm not exactly sure what what the point is of the five inches. Maybe they're there to look good, because they generally don't do a whole lot of damage. It's just not there. And these things do weigh a bit. 38 tons each. And he has 10. Arguably... Armor might have been a better choice than these five inch secondaries. Because you don't set fires, not with these capitalistic AC shells. The Americans are now at less than. Yeah, slightly more than half the damage that they've taken. Skinwalker used to be able to do 36 knots, he's now only doing 25. Hawaii has lost a turret. Ohio is mostly intact. I don't have a lot of hope for the American ships here. The Chinese secondaries in the form of 10 5.9s are pitching in. Oh boy. Blocked, blocked, blocked. Secondaries from the Chinese aren't that big of a threat yet. Those primaries that are going to cut clean through the American belt at this range. And the Americans just don't have enough to show for it. There we go. Flooding. Come on, boys. Make something happen. Preferably quick. At this range, they should be able to damage the Chinese pretty well. There you go. More. Nah, that's barely it. 17k damage done by the Chinese. 19k now. As the Ohio gets pounded. Oh. So does Hawaii. Flash fire. There it is. Ohio can no longer fire. Her main guns are devoid of ammunition. Ohio is now a very large destroyer when it comes to her armament. Hawaii has already lost a turret. Her second turret, the A turret, has been damaged. And we have Skinwalker, which is struggling to get a good angle because of her list to starboard. Oh boy. I think the Chinese have it.
We're just... Yeah. The only thing that I might be able to do now is burn down the Yibu. But I kind of doubt it. Well, we're also jockeying for position now. Ohio stopped? What are you doing? You're trying to fall in behind the skinwalker? You might not want to park in the middle of combat, though. Yeah, there goes skinwalker. Sunk. I think for the American class here, for the, the skinwalker class, that there just wasn't enough DPS. Armor is nice, um, but it can only help you for so long. You need DPS. You need to be able to output the damage and sink the enemy ships. And with only six guns and a 12% flash fire chance, I mean, it's... You already got low DPS and you're kind of asking for even less. Seeing as your ships are simply going to explode, as we've seen with Ohio. And Ohio's getting <laughs> flooding, structural integrity damage, crews going down pretty quick. Ohio can't do anything. Even our 5 inches are struggling. To find a decent angle. That's a torpedo launch from the Yi Wu. Okay, it's almost like they were targeting two different ships there. Ohio should be perfectly capable of dodging that. Same as the Hawaii. That does mean that the Hawaii, even though she has a really good turret rotation, is going to struggle to get those guns on target. There goes Ohio. Hawaii executing a full turn, trying to get rid of the torpedo. Turn, baby. Yeah, the Americans didn't really do that well against the Wang class. How would I adjust this ship? How would I improve this ship? I think she's a bit too fast. Speed is going to cost you something else. Like, if you want to have a lot of speed, you're going to have a small ship. Um, or you're going to be paying through the nose to get a really big engine in that. So I would probably stick this ship at like 33 knots. And try to get the American triple barrels. Ideally, yeah, pretty much Super Alaska, I think. The 13 inchers, because they're Mark V at this era. Um... Get rid of all the five inchers, because they look nice, but they haven't really done that much damage. And when it comes to ammo, maybe 13 inch semi armor piercing. And just put the ship on maximum AP, like it's done here. Ma main shells, max AP. Because with that, you can start raining hell on superstructures, turrets, and the like. Why desperately turning away, but the whole ship's one big mess at this point. 28% of the crew is dead. The B turret's been destroyed. The A turret's trying to find a solution to turn around. And... What is this? You guys need to figure out where you're going. To her credit, Hawaii is still firing. Uh, Hawaii ran out of 14 inch shells. Or was that a while ago? Yeah, Ohio also ran out of 14 inches. I think it's because of the damage to the turrets. If you keep damaging the main turrets, the ammunition goes. So she too is now a really big 5 inch uh, destroyer. So it's just a matter of time until Hawaii is completely destroyed. Because it's the structural integrity that will fail. There she goes. But hey, at least we did not see overwhelming fires. Um, not a great day for the American fleet. 
Skinwalker class, no joy. Chinese Wangs did take some damage, yes, but they survived. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. How would you improve the Skinwalker class? Because it can be improved. The question is, which way do you take it? Do you go for more armor? Do you go for more guns? Do you go for less speed? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for more.